One of the themes, not only in my discussion, but some of the other panelists as well, was around the theme of corporate culture and how corporate culture really uh, fosters innovation within a company. I came to the Mac Institute today to talk about innovation in the established firm using my employer Intel as a, as a great example. Uh, Intel has a history of innovation starting with the sign that I see every morning when I walk into the building which says innovation is everything, a, a slogan that was attributed to our, one of our founders, Bob Noyce. So innovation at Intel is making sure that when we show up at work we're thinking through how we can deliver better shareholder value through better products better processes, better manufacturing, um, and better practices inside and outside the company. Our approach to innovation is actually is very broad. So Intel for six years in a row has been the largest purchaser of green power in the United States. We're very active in education, contributing $100 million to, uh, the, to education causes across the United States. Uh, we are approached this year in 2014 to the, to the manufacturing of microprocessors actually changed because we announced at the beginning of this year that all of our mi microprocessors would be made from conflict-free materials. Uh, in, unfortunately, some of the key elements used to make consumer electronics as well as semiconductors comes out of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Uh, that area has some regional strife and sometimes that strife and conflict has been funded by the mining of minerals like lead and tantalum and tin. So Intel announced that we're going to be, for 2014, bagging and tagging the minerals as they come out of the ground and guaranteeing that they come from conflict-free sources. So this is innovation, not just within our own company, but all the way down the supply chain of the elements coming into our microprocessor manufacturing process. <laughs> 